Hello everyone, this is concerning a Ford car. It's a 2003 model and the customer's complaint is that the battery light is showing intermittently. So scanned it for codes and you can see we're getting the P0620 which is a generator fault which refers to the smart alternator on this Ford. Now a good place to actually get information on this system is through the Pico Automotive software. You can download the, the demo free of charge and uh, you don't need to have the oscilloscope but it's the automotive version. So what you do is you click on automotive, you then go charging starting, then charging circuits and Ford Smart Alternator. Now a uh, lot of good information here but I'll just give you a few points. It shows you some of the signals. And it also tells you about the Ford must use calcium silver batteries at the bottom of this page. Uh, but we found in this car, and I assume it was just using a normal lead battery because I had PB written on the sign, which is a chemical sim symbol for lead. So I wonder if that's what cooked the alternator. But what it also didn't show you was that the car, when it was sitting at idle, was 12.5 volts. But when you disconnect that multi plug, it should go to 14.7 this thing went to 18 volts and you could actually see the smoke rising from the battery so all is not well but i'll show you the the signals on the the multi plug there's pins one two and three a uh, pin one is the feedback from the alternator pin two is the command signal to the alternator and pin three is the 12 volt supply from the battery and you need these three things to be present in order for it to work and uh, i'll let you see the signals so this is me here at the car, I'm pinned into the grey wire, which is pin 1, and that's the feedback from the alternator to the PCM, and you can see that signal, that's that's with the, the heater on, that should remain a high duty cycle at the top, and you can see it's, it's diminishing, it's getting smaller, so I've never seen that before, so that looks very suspicious. The next pin I go to is pin 2, which I'm sure that's a blue wire, now that's the control signal from the PCM to the alternator and it, that just always kind of looks like that, it remains constant and uh, so that, that signal looks good, you can see that that's 0 to 12 volts so I kind of see a problem with that and then the last one is the orange wire, you can see that that is the 12 volt supply now that must be present there in order for it to work and you can see I've got a, that's a battery supply that I've got there and you can actually see that the uh, the supply is going 12 and a half volts then it's going up to 13 volts so everything seems to be fine and as i said when i disconnected it the thing jumped to 18 volts and you're like wow this is ready to cook a module or two or take everything with it so in this next shot i then disconnect the multi-plug and i go into the gray wire and with that disconnected you can see i've got a steady what's that mm, 8.63 volts it's uh, ignition on, engine off, obviously. And then I jump down to the blue wire to see if I've got any signal on that. And that's the one, that's the control wire from the PCM to the alternator. And I've actually, I've not got, there's absolutely, there's zero volts in that. So I'm not sure if that's correct or not. But one thing, this PCM is buried under the dash. And there's absolutely no way that you're going to get to it. So I actually I ohmed that out between the the blue wire see you can see that zero volts i ohmed out between the blue wire and ground and i was getting mega ohms the same on the gray wire so is that a good enough test i'm not sure and then you can see on the orange wire there i have a straight 12 volts so i've got a good supply there so the next thing this car is going to get is an alternator but if anybody else has got any better ideas i'm willing to listen but uh, anyway i hope that helps somebody out there when you're you're looking at troubleshooting this system uh, cheers one last thing, we stuck uh, the Ford IDS software on this and what you can see here, I'm clearing the codes and what I wanted to see was that uh, these codes come right back so I do this key off, uh, key on engine off and you can see the codes actually don't come back right away that was with the, the engine, uh, I can't even remember if the engine was running or no but I then go into the data logger and I pull up the PIDs there but there actually, you can see there wasn't actually anything for generator control or I think the newer cars have that, that they show you the, the command signals and what like you but this this thing had nothing uh, on it but I'll just I'll let it run here, it takes uh, 
takes that, this is actually speeded up, it takes that long to go through everything, you've got to find out if it's got these pressure sensors or no, so you can see the pids there, and uh, I'll graph them here, but you can see the battery voltage, and that's got it 12.6, so it's low, you can also see vehicle power setting from the bottom, that's, I'm sure vehicle power is what's going to the PCM, you can see that's 12.6, and then jump up to 13, so it, sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. So, what else was I actually going to show you here? Mm. Well, yeah, a, re a retrieve, this is a, a command all DTCs again, and as I said to you, when I done that, the fault codes didn't come back immediately, which in my mind would point to not a wiring issue. Yeah, I'll just run through them, that's, just, that's a normal P1000 complete, there's the one there, the... Ah, uh, there you see the generator control circuit, open circuit wiring or component, signal short to V battery or V ref or short to ground, but that's shown as a cleared code, and I say to you, it did not come back with a uh, key on engine off test, uh, but uh, these other codes that were generated just was because I was disconnecting the multi plug on the thing, uh, but anyway. I thought that would be of interest. There's one. There's a heater circuit. See, there's another, another uh, generator code. This P sixteen thirty two. That's uh, just telling there's a fault with the system. Voltage too high, and there's the last code. But they only occurred when I disconnected the three pin connector. Anyway, thanks for listening. Cheers.